born unto us this day a Savior. Gifted from heaven to a manger. The hope of the world alive for all mankind. All of the earth rejoice, it's Christmas time. So lift up your voice and sing. divine yeah all of the earth rejoice it's Christmas time it's Christmas time read about how God doesn't need a house. God lives with his people wherever they went. Yeah, and on Christmas, we hear how God came to dwell with us through Jesus. So God's house doesn't need a roof or walls. I wonder what God's house looks like. Wait, did you hear something? hosts above. I think it was Jacob. I don't think he's done. God's home 
is a home for all nations. A home where God's love dwells among us. A home where we all safely live. A home where we're all one in Jesus Christ. A home where God's word teaches and guides us. A home where we seek to live out God's dream. Here in God's house, all are welcome. welcome. Merry Christmas. My name is Patty Nelson. I'd like to welcome you to worship at Faith Lutheran Church. Good morning and welcome to Faith Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Adam and it's almost Christmas. While we won't be meeting in person this year, I am so excited to be able to offer all that we're able to do online. So, get out your calendars. Our final Advent Allegro concert is this Wednesday at noon. We are delighted to bring the uplifting and spiritual music of the Chicago Church of Christ Choir. It's not your typical choir, so get ready for a cardio workout. Advent evening prayer continues Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. On Christmas Eve, we have a fireside nativity drama directed by Jacob Smetters. It's a wonderful, dramatic, and musical presentation of the birth of Jesus from the perspective of the innkeeper and his wife. Following that, we have our traditional Christmas Eve concert at 1.30, filled with musical offerings from our faith family. Then our traditional candlelight communion and carol service at 2 o'clock. On Christmas morning, service will be uh, at 9.30 a.m. If these service times don't work for you, know that they will continue to be available afterwards for you to join us at any time. Thank you all who have supported our Reverse Advent Project this year. As we are home for Christmas, we've been supporting the ministry of St. Vincent de Paul, a local ministry that assists with the housing needs of those in our community. If you'd like to make a donation, we will continue to collect them through Christmas. Again, welcome to worship today, and I look forward to worshiping with you in the days to come. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Advent we gather in our homes, and the world is not as you intended it to be, and we pray that you would come. Come, restore what is broken, and make your home among us. This Advent we gather in our homes, 
and we prepare a path for you to come. Our homes are poor reflections of your eternal kingdom. Call us to action as we prepare the way for you. This Advent, we gather in our homes, and we proclaim your good news. You have come to be a home for all the nations. Help us to be your hands and feet that bring your good news to all. This Advent, we gather in our homes, and we become a home for you. Your home is not built of wood and bricks, but of flesh and blood. Come, make us your home and dwell within us. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Please share a sign of God's peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. from the seventh chapter of 2 Samuel. Now when the king was settled in his house and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, see now, 
I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day. But I have been moving about in a tent in a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep to be prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you whenever you went, and I have cut off all your enemies from you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed no more, and evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel. And I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. How many of you would consider sleeping and living in a tent nowadays? Probably not many. It's cold out here. But our reading from 2 Samuel today, David realizes something. God has been left out in a tent. That's right, David. You may remember David as the shepherd boy who cared for his flocks, leading them to green pastures and still waters. Or when he stepped forward to fight Goliath when all the others were scared. Well, David was made king of Israel. He captured Jerusalem from the hands of the Jebusites and now lives in a beautiful house of cedar. So he lives in this beautiful house made of cedar, but as for God, God lived in a tent. God didn't really live in a tent. You see, when the Israelites were wandering in the wilderness, newly freed from slavery in Egypt, God instructed Moses to build the Ark of the Covenant, a wooden box encased in gold to carry the two tablets of the Ten Commandments. Moses did, and the Israelites carried it with them whenever they went. And it said that the presence of the Lord rested on the Ark. So whenever the Israelites stopped, they set up a tent or tabernacle, where they would place the ark of the Lord God Almighty, and where God would dwell in the tent with the ark. So King David had this beautiful house made of cedar, and God was left in a tent. So King David decides to build a house for God, and goes to Nathan, his spiritual guide, and tells him of the plan. Nathan is all for it, and then that night, God speaks to Nathan and sets him straight. Go and tell David, I've been with you wherever you went. When you wandered in the wilderness, I was with you. When you were hungry, I gave you manna from heaven. When you were thirsty, I gave you water flowing from the rock. When you entered the promised land, I went before you through the parted waters of the Jordan River. When you were defeated in battle and the Ark of the Covenant was stolen by the Philistines, I was still with you. And when the Ark of the Covenant returned and you were victorious in battle, I was with you. But God didn't need a house. God didn't need a tent. The Lord God Almighty is bigger than any house, bigger than any tent, yet so present, present enough to walk with each of us. And God walked with David and the Israelites and with King Solomon after him, who actually did build God a temple, but we won't get into that. 
God walked with the Israelites as their, temp as their kingdom was divided into two. God walked with them when the Babylonians came and destroyed Jerusalem and, and tore their temple to the ground. And God walked with them back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. But the point is, God has been with them all along, not in a tent, not in a house, not in a box, but walking with them. And to make this point clear, God stepped into creation in a new and powerful way, in Emmanuel, to be with us, God with us, God walking with us. So that's right. The Lord God Almighty, the Lord God who is bigger than any house, bigger than any tent, bigger than the heavens, walks with you. You may not see it at first, but God is with you. God has been walking with you through this pandemic time. When you're lost and alone in the wilderness, God is walking with you. When you're spiritually hungry, um, when you're, you're hungry for the Lord, when you feel like you've been forced to fast uh, the spiritual feast that we've grown accustomed to, God is with you and feeding you. When you're thirsty for the Lord, God brings living water. And when the enemy attacks and all normalcy as we thought we knew it is turned upside down, God walks with you. That's right. The Lord God Almighty doesn't need a house built of stone, but instead a people built by God. And so God walks with us, loving us, caring for us, building us into a dwelling place for God, a dwelling place where the light of Christ can shine. So this week, take a hike. Get out and enjoy the beautiful weather we have these next couple days. Go out and walk with God and know that God is walking with you. Together, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of the sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. church. Lift up our prayers for the sick, for the suffering, and all those we name before you now. During this stewardship time, I'd like for us to take time to reflect on those who maybe have no choice uh, to live in a tent at this time. Maybe those who don't have homes. There are lots of ways that we can reach out and help here in Jacksonville. There's a new warming and cooling center, a shelter that has opened up, and we can support them by volunteering uh, or supporting them financially. Also this year during Advent, a reverse Advent project is to support the St. Vincent de Paul organization here in Jacksonville, an organization that expressly cares for the housing needs of those in our community who are struggling. So consider ways that you can care for those who maybe 
are out living in tents and have no choice uh, or options for anything warmer or better at this time. And let God build us into a home, a dwelling place, where we can care for and shelter those around us. Again, thank you for worshiping with us today. Keep track of all the wonderful opportunities we have this week for a Christmas Eve and Christmas Day worship. Look forward to worshiping with you uh, in those times. Now this week, make sure that you take your walk. Go for a walk with God and know that God is walking with you. Let God build you into a house, a dwelling place built by God. 
Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. The reading is from the second chapter of <laughs> Hey everyone, check this out! What? Where, where did this door come from? I don't know. Is it God's house? Wait, what if it leads to Narnia? Aslan, are you in there? We have Son of Adam! Ha <laughs> ha! Open the gates to Asgard! Lightning fast! <laughs> Thus saith the Lord of hosts. I took from you from the pillow. I'll take. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it leads to his stomach. Maybe it leads to Narnia. Maybe it leads to Bo's room. Maybe it leads to Asgard. Maybe it leads to God's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, where does it lead? Uh, to God. Amen, brother. Stop. Sure, that's fine. Thanks be to God. Success. Couple flubs. <laughs> Say hi. We're the camera crew. Bail. <laughs> 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 I was doing. Mom, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hey, 